In this video, we'll photo match an interior space. Go to File, Import, find the photo you want to import, and then make sure Use as New Matched Photo is checked. Then click Open. Here is the photo. Now these are grips and you will use them to match the photo's perspective with SketchUp's perspective. Let's get the dialog box out of the way. Now just pick them up and drag them along parallel lines. So the two red grips need to be on two lines converging to the same point and the green grips need to go on two lines converging to the other vanishing point. You need a two-point perspective photo, one done at a 45 degree angle like this for best results. Now grab the scale figure and move him in the corner. Try to finesse it so that he is right in that corner and then move the mouse, drag it on the blue axes to scale him. Eyeball him to scale. When it looks like he's the right size, click the appropriate graphic. The first one is for interior perspective, so you'll want to click. Then hit Done, and you are ready to start the model. But first, hide the scale figure because if you leave him, the photo match will go on him and leave a white space on the room behind him. Grab the line tool and now model the room. It won't be exactly the same as the photo. Model parallel to the axes. This can be tricky. Look for these little black dots that show up. That will help guide you when you make the edges so you'll make a correct face. When it's filmy, that means a face has formed. And again, this does take practice. Look for those little black dots that show up. Put some floor in. Put some ceiling in. And if faces don't form, click the scroll wheel of the mouse. That will remove the photo and you can take a look at the model to see what went wrong. And you can even model directly here if the photo is distracting to you. Click on the blue tab to bring the photo back. Now maximize the dialog box and click Project Textures from Photos. Yes. And now, there it is, your photo matched model. Bring the scale figure back by unhiding him. He's behind the model and move him back into it with the move tool. And there you have your photo matched room.